Hi everyone. Uh, I want to explain how you guys are going to complete your environmental impact uh, template and show you what the rubric looks like. So um, one person in your group is going to download the, uh, the template and I need you to rename it name, uh, using this convection, this convention here. So you need to name it your block your last names in alphabetical order. So if, if you have Bach and No and Vandergriff, you put that there and then call it the Francis Parker Environmental Impact Study for your parking lot and pool. So you're going to rename that document. Um, then um, these are the components of the environmental impact statement. Uh, you will answer questions and format this so it sounds like an official impact statement. Now, after you answer each of the uh, sections, make sure to delete the instructional part of the sections that are in parentheses, okay? So, for example, um, what's going to happen is probably a lot of you guys are going to divide and conquer this document. So, whoever's writing the purpose and need statement, it tells you here in parentheses what I want you to do. You should be explaining why Francis Parker needs more parking and or a pool in the area that you observed at the beginning of the unit. And if you recall, we talked about this on Friday with the discussion board. So you're going to take that discussion board information, turn it into a very um, succinct paragraph that has a lot of meaning because you are professionals and you're going to write that there. Um, the person who's going to be doing the alternatives also go to that discussion board because some people provided alternative plans. Uh, you're going to write down uh, alternative places or plans to increase available parking or pool on the existing campus and explain why this should be beneficial. So you will write that there and then the third person is going to uh, do the effective environment. What I'd like you to do is after you've done your portion, you need to go back and comment and help edit your other classmates' portions. So let's say you didn't do these two. Uh, you'll go back and make sure that they've written this um, well. Um, if there's something, a misspelled word, or if they didn't add enough information, you're going to do that. And uh, again, we can actually find out who commented, when and where and why. So if you're gonna make a comment, what you would do is highlight the sections because some of you guys don't know how to do this so you'd highlight that section and then you'd press um, uh, comment okay and then you make a comment on that uh, particular one you can say you know I think this is um, don't just say oh I think you did a good job say you know I liked how you supported your answers or I think this needs to be fixed or reword this so those comments need to be uh, well done um, so part of your grade is making sure you've written your piece and you've commented and edited ed your uh, partner's uh, pieces too. And every day this week, that's what's going to happen. We're gonna give you different sections of this environmental impact template to complete. And uh, so that by next Monday, you'll have it all done. Um, again, uh, we also have a rubric. We're still working on this, but all of these, we have approaching, meeting, and exceeding standards, but there's going to be a component, which is an individual one that we're still adding onto this. Again, this is what people do in the real world. Um, they help each other uh, create reports. They edit each other's reports, um, and they all contribute to the work. Otherwise, they get fired. You wouldn't want to have to fire anyone. Um, I look forward to reading these uh, for, for all classes. Have a good week.